Good evening, everyone, and welcome out to Speed Racing Network, where we're presenting the Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft for Season 1 of 2021. And man, tonight is going to be a great night. We've got 59 drivers that are waiting to be drafted into this All-Star race, and we're going to get every single one of them drafted. So uh, just to kind of throw this out there. We're doing this uh, as a thank you to all of our drivers uh, for participating with us all season long. Uh, there is no entry fee on this race. This is uh, one of those things where uh, Jason Tripp and I and the other admins uh, wanted to kind of give you guys something to do uh, in, in our off week and uh, have a little bit of fun with it. So we are going to be going on the uh, ARCA cars uh, at Indianapolis. So it is going to be a really unique race. Uh, I don't think a lot of people have done ARCA cars at Indianapolis. So, uh, but let's just kind of jump right into it here. So the schedule for this next week, Saturday, May the 8th at 4 p.m. will be qualifier race number one. And so that will be Team Birdman, which is Adam Pettit, and Team Buddha, which is uh, Danny Setzer. And those two teams are going to all be on the track together for 50 laps, one fast repair at Indianapolis in the ARCA cars. So that will be qualifier race number one. Then there will be a second qualifier race, uh, Saturday, May 8th also, but at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. That will be Team Silverback, which is myself, Sean Griffith, and Team Stimba, which is Jason Tripp. Uh, and nice little rivalry there between uh, myself and, and Jason. Uh, it goes back to uh, Jason basically uh, wrecking me up the track. He says that he just moved me. I say he wrecked me. Uh, but uh, we, we love having some fun with that and can't wait to get back on the track with him and maybe get a little bit of payback. So uh, 50 laps there, uh, one fast repair as well. Now the top 20 of each qualifier plus the two highest finishing team captains will all come back for the actual all-star race on Sunday, May the 9th. And, uh, you know, from, from there, that's when all the fun happens. So uh, now just to let everyone know, the qualifying races are not going to be broadcast uh, because we're going to have the people that are doing the broadcast in the races. So uh, so those qualifying races will not be broadcast, but the all-star race will be. So definitely check back with us Sunday, May the 9th at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to see 75 laps on Indianapolis Motor Speedway at the Brickyard one fast repair in the ARCA cars. I've been told that the setup that we're getting is relatively loose. Uh, and so that means it will be fast, but it might be a little, little, uh, slippery, I think. So we'll, we'll find out what's going to happen on that one, but we are going to be giving out some prizes, uh, during that all-star race and as well as the qualifier. So the winner of each qualifier will get $20. Uh, the all-star race winner themselves will get $50. Second place will get 25. Third place will get 15. Fourth place will get 10. Uh, if you have the fastest lap in the all-star race, you'll get $10. If you're the cleanest driver in the all-star race and the highest finishing clean, cleanest driver, you'll get $10. And if you get the pole position, uh, you will also get $10, uh, for that. We also have $25 for the captain of the team win or the, the team captain of the winner of the race. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and take my $25 right now because my team should win the whole dang thing. And uh, we also do have a Mr. Irrelevant Award. And it sounds terrible, but in the NFL, the last pick of the draft is called Mr. Irrelevant. They're, uh, they're not really expected to do much, but there's not really much incentive out there for, for them to do well. So, uh, so what we've done is the last five drivers picked in this draft, if any of them make the actual all-star race, we're going to give them $10 just for, uh, just for making that all-star race. So... Getting into the draft format for tonight, uh, a little bit earlier this week, uh, we did have the random pick to see who uh, gets the first pick, second pick, third pick, fourth pick, and uh, I, I ended up winning that, so I'm, I'm telling you, the, the wins will keep stacking up this week for uh, for Team Silverback, so I'll get the first pick. Uh, Team Stimbo with Jason Tripp will get the second pick. Team Buddha with Danny Setzer will get the third pick. Team Birdman for Adam Pettit will get the fourth pick. There are 59 picks in this draft. So every single driver that has uh, registered for this all-star race, uh, they will be picked up in this draft. And it will be a snake format. So I will get the first pick, but my next pick will not be until eighth. Uh, so that just kind of makes it a little bit more even. So uh, definitely going to have some fun, but 
man, we are excited about this. I, I can't believe that I'm actually nervous about uh, this draft. Uh, it is going to be an exciting time. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the draft. And uh, good luck to everybody. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Team Silverback has the next pick. With the first overall pick of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Jake Rowell of the Cup Series with Rowell Smith Racing. Jake Rowell, the winningest driver in Speed Racing Network history, was one of the more obvious choices for the first round of this draft. He drove for Team Silverback captain Sean Griffith last season and has only gotten better this season as the co-owner of Rowell Smith Racing. With four wins this season in the Cup Series, the most laps led in that series, and seven top fives already this season, his resume is impressive enough for the top overall pick in the Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft. Team Stimpa has the next pick. The second pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Timothy Latham of the Cup Series with Filthy 5 Motorsports. Timothy Latham opened the season with two wins, but hasn't seen victory lane since. But don't let that bother you. He's towards the front of every single race he's in at some point. He simply doesn't have a weakness. He's the only driver in the Cup Series with an average starting and finishing position both in the top 10. When you're averaging a top 10, it's a pretty safe bet that you're going to get picked up early in the draft. No surprise here. Team Buddha has the next pick. With pick three of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Kyle Spee's Cup Series driver for Filthy Five Motorsports. Some people may call this a bit of a reach. Kyle doesn't yet have a win on the season, and he's widely regarded as the third best driver on his own team. But Captain Danny Setzer knows something here that a lot of people don't. Kyle Spees is an ARCA car genius. Take that fact, combined with the fact that Kyle consistently moves up 9 or 10 positions per race, and Danny Setzer may have just won this draft with his very first pick. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the fourth overall pick of the SRN 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Xfinity Series driver Jovi Sagiped of Roel Smith Racing. With two wins and nine top tens in 14 races, and with the most laps led in the Xfinity Series, this pick shouldn't come as a shock to anyone. Jovi is one of the most consistent drivers on the track week in and week out. Not only that, he's good at just about every type of track. He has a win on a super speedway, a win on a mile and a half track, and three top fives on short tracks. Just because he's in the Xfinity series doesn't mean the three guys picked in front of him shouldn't be paying attention to him. Everyone should be. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the fifth pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects 55 Motorsports Cup Series driver Landon Lacey. If you're basing your picks on the standings alone, you would have missed Landon Lacey. But Captain Adam Pettit is looking past that here. The entire Cup Series should be grateful that Landon didn't run a full schedule this season. In the nine races he ran in the Cup Series, he's had two wins. Here's how good he is. Going into Week 12, he had only raced in seven Cup Series races, and he was only 37 points outside the cut. If he had raced a whole season, he'd be in the playoffs right now. But I'm sure he'd settle for a victory in the All-Star race under the circumstances. Yeah. 
Team Buddha has the next pick. With pick six of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Daniel Baudler, Xfinity Series driver with R&D Motorsports. Daniel Baldler is the second most winning driver behind number one pick Jake Rowell, but his stats are no less spectacular. 45 races in Speed Racing Network history, six pole positions, six wins, 14 top fives, 23 top tens. Daniel Baldler is one of the best drivers on the track, whether it's a dirt track in real life or a road course on iRacing. The last two times the Speed Racing Network has gone to the Brickyard, Daniel Baldler has posted top 10 finishes. So he can win in dirt cars, he can win in Xfinity cars, and he can win in cup cars. There's only one question remaining. Can he win in an ARCA car? Team Stimpa has the next pick. With the seventh selection of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Cole Martin, Truck Series driver for Bronco Motorsports. As the first Truck Series driver off the board, some may consider this pick to be a bit of a reach, but Cole Martin has been shattering those expectations all year. He has led more than double the laps of anyone else in the league. But watch out if he starts near the front. He has started in the top three in seven races this season. In those seven races, he has five wins. He may be one of the youngest drivers in Speed Racing Network, but he's fast well beyond his years. Team Silverback has the next pick. The eighth pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Zach Taylor, Xfinity Series driver for Tank Racing. Zach Taylor started off the season with back-to-back -back wins in the Xfinity Series. After that, you can only be a letdown, right? Wrong. He's rattled off eight top fives in 12 races. Literally, the only way to keep this guy out of the top 10 is to wreck him. The three times that he's missed a top 10 have been due to wrecks. With an average start position of 10th and an average finish position of 9th, it's no wonder he's getting picked up before some of the Cup Series drivers. After his first two wins of the season, Zach asked what the all-time record was for wins in Speed Racing Network history. While he has a ways to go to catch Jake Rowell for that record, just the fact that he asked shows that he wants to be on top. Team Silverback has the next pick. With the ninth pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects James Holzer, Cup Series driver for Team SRN. James Holzer was known as the best driver without a win until last week at Talladega. With seven top fives and ten top tens in 13 starts, Holzer is always a safe bet to be near the front of the pack. In fact, he's only had one finish outside the top 20 all season long. The best part about Holzer is that it doesn't matter where he actually starts a race, he can turn it into a good finish. Of the eight times that he started outside the top 12 this season, he's brought home six top five finishes. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Team Stimba has the next pick. With the 10th pick of the Speed Racing Network 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Damian Leininger, Cup Series driver for Revved Racing. He may have been one of the last drivers to work their way into the playoffs, but Damian Leininger is a big game player. After a lackluster middle part of the season, he needed good finishes in the last four races of the regular season just to get into the playoffs, and he delivered. Captain Jason Tripp is expecting at least one more big performance from Damian here, and if history is any indication, he may just get it. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 11 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Cup Series driver Dean Brummett of Roel Smith Racing. 
Dean Brummett may be tied for the third most wins in Speed Racing Network history, but don't think for a second that he's going to rest on his laurels. He is always disappointed if he doesn't cross that finish line first in a race. But one of the great things about Dean Brummett is that he never lets his emotions get too high or too low in a race. He's just a really level, clean, fast driver. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the number 12 pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Rhett Tucker of the Xfinity Series Bronco Motorsports team. Rhett Tucker has an average start position of 9th, an average finish position of 7th, and has 7 top 5s with 4 wins on the season. But what makes him even more amazing is the fact that he hasn't finished outside the top 18 all season long. Don't put it past Rhett to pull off a victory in Indianapolis this week. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the 13th pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Danny Dow, Xfinity Series driver for Team SRN. This is a really interesting pick for Captain Adam Pettit. Before this season began, Danny Dow was on Team SRN. Then he got recruited to the Rev Racing Cup Series team. Then he went back to Team SRN, who he races for in the Xfinity Series. And now, Adam Pettit wants him back again. Why does everybody want a piece of Danny Dow? Well, it's simple. He was Mid-South Madness Season 1 champion and was a playoff driver in Mid-South Madness Season 2. Admittedly, he's had a down year this year, but when it was all on the line in one race for the championship of Mid-South Madness Season 1, he came through. Now it's all on the line in one race here for the All-Star Race. Do you really want to bet against him? Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 14 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Greg Joyner, Xfinity Series driver for Bronco Motorsports. While he doesn't have a win to his credit yet, anytime you average a top 10 finish through 14 races, people are going to take notice. When they look closely, they'll see only three top fives in those 14 races. But Captain Danny Setzer doesn't just look closely, he looks at each driver under a microscope. And when he sees Greg Joyner, he not only sees a driver with three top five finishes, but also seven top six finishes. One minor mistake by a driver in the top five could give Joyner the opportunity to move up, but he'll be there waiting. Team Stimpa has the next pick. Pick 15 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Rev Racing Truck Series driver Michael Madden. Michael Madden blazed onto the Speed Racing Network scene with wins in his first two races. But let's be honest, winning every week is not possible. But Madden sure gave it a shot. After a bad race in week three, he rattled off nine straight top five finishes. He's run into some trouble in the past couple of weeks, but if you think that he's lost his way, you haven't been paying attention. Frankly, I'm surprised that Michael Madden was available at pick 15. Team Stimba just picked up a good one. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 16 of the Speed Racing Network 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Corey Saucier, Truck Series driver for R&D Motorsports. Captains Jason Tripp and Sean Griffith are rivals on the track, so Captain Griffith would have been crazy not to pick up Corey Saucier here. Even Michael Madden himself said in an interview that Corey Saucier was his biggest competition in the Truck Series. Saucier has an average start position of third. Let that sink in. In fact, he hasn't started a race outside the top nine all season long. But I can just hear Captain Tripp saying it right now. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Well, how's this for finishing, Tripp? Saucier has three wins back to back to back, six top fives, and ten top tens. 
let the rivalry between Corey Saucier and Michael Madden continue. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 17 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Ryan Ducom, Xfinity Series driver for Royal Smith Racing. Ryan Ducom is another driver that has an average start and an average finish both in the top 12 range. But not only is Team Silverback getting a consistent driver, more importantly, they're getting an ultra clean driver. Ducom has seven completely clean races this season, and that should serve him well at the Brickyard. The only negative is that he hasn't been in the lead all that much this season, leading only 18 laps. But really, he just needs to lead one in the All-Star race. Team Stimpa has the next pick. Pick 18 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects David Duke, Cup Series driver for R&D Motorsports. If you look at this season's Cup Series results, this pick might be a bit of a surprise to you. In 12 races this season, Duke has only had one top five and two top tens. So why would Captain Jason Tripp spend his fifth round pick on Duke? Simple. This is not the only series that Duke races in. This guy lives and breathes racing. Not only was he a NASCAR official a while back, but now he travels around the country for his job with his iRacing rig. Across all of his leagues in the past 13 months, he has posted top 10 finishes in almost half of his races. The last time he did a league race at Indianapolis, he started on the pole and finished fourth. He could be the dark horse to win this whole thing. Team Buddha has the next pick. With the 19th pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Byron McDonald, Truck Series driver for Revved Racing. As we get deeper and deeper into this draft, different strategies will start to play out with our captains. For this round, Captain Setzer is riding the wave of momentum. After not having a podium finish all season long, Byron McDonald decided to go ahead and win the first race of the playoffs, vaulting him up the leaderboard. Byron is a huge sports fan, and we've had many conversations about the NFL draft. This pick is what I would call a steal. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the 20th overall pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Nathan Nixon, Truck Series driver for Revved Racing. It was a mistake for the other three captains to not pick Nathan Nixon up earlier, and Adam Pettit knows how to capitalize on mistakes. With one win, four top fives, and seven top tens, Nixon is used to being somewhere near the front of the race. He's ultra consistent with an average starting position of 12th and an average finishing position of 12th. One mark against him though is that his truck is usually a magnet for other trucks. He's only had one clean race all season, but even with incidents during the race, he's been able to have some good finishes. So don't overthink this pick. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the 21st pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Marshall Stanley, Xfinity Series driver for Revved Racing. Most people know Marshall Stanley as a road course driver due to his dominant win at Daytona Road Course earlier this season. He won that race by 24 seconds. But the secret to Marshall Stanley isn't what he does in the Xfinity series, it's what he does outside that series. He has a lot of experience at Indianapolis in the Indy cars. How that will transfer over to the ARCA cars remains to be seen, but anytime you know every inch of a track, it's an advantage. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 22 of the SRN 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Scott Kalal, Cup Series driver for Team SRN. 
Scott Kalal said in his podium interview last week at Talladega that he's playing with house money. A lot of people didn't think that he would make the Cup Series playoffs, and yet there he is. I don't know why anyone's surprised by his position in the series or with this pick. Scott has posted 13 straight top 20s in the Cup Series and has only had double-digit incident points once. Team Buddha just got another clean, consistent driver. Team Stimpa has the next pick. With the 23rd overall selection of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Justin Boyles, Cup Series driver for R&D Motorsports. Justin Boyles has had a tough time adjusting to fixed setups this year, as he normally races with much faster, much looser open setups. But when you're talking about race strategy, especially when heading to a track with a car that you haven't run, Boyles is the guy to talk to. That's why I think this is a sneaky good pick. In a race where a faster, looser fixed setup is being created for us, he likely has a bit of an advantage. He's also the NASCAR king of this series. If you don't believe me, ask him who won the Coca-Cola 600 in 2011. Not only will he text me the answer in the next three minutes, but he probably has the die-cast model and a piece of the sheet metal from that race too. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 24 of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Bobby Anderson, Truck Series driver from R&D Motorsports. When the team captains were told that Bobby could only make the night qualifying race, captains Sean Griffith and Jason Tripp started strategizing over who would take this pick and win. Captain Griffith couldn't risk it going another round. Bobby has four top tens on the season, but is still right in the middle of the Truck Series playoffs. While he'll need to do better than the eighth place, which is his best finish all season, the talent is definitely there to sneak out a victory. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 25 of the Speed Racing Network 2021 All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Brandon Domain, Stryker Motorsports, Truck Series driver. Captain Sean Griffith was the original owner of Stryker Motorsports, but that's not why he's picking Brandon Domain here. Maybe Brandon's four top fives and eight top tens can paint a better picture. But even more than that, Brandon just keeps giving himself opportunities to shine each week. He has an average start position of seventh and an average finish position of tenth. It's only a matter of time before he ends up in victory lane. Team Stimpa has the next pick. With the 26th pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Mike Lepicki, Xfinity Series driver for Tank Racing. Captain Jason Tripp has known Mike Lepicki since they started in Mid-South Madness together. Lepicki had the second most points that season. In season two, he had a rough time of it, but now in the Speed Racing Network Xfinity Series, Lepicki has seen his resurgence. He has had eight top ten finishes this season, so he's always there in the hunt. He just needs that push at the end to get across the line first. But here's some inside information for you. The last two times the Speed Racing Network has gone to Indianapolis, Lepicki has finished in 2nd and in 7th. Team Buddha has the next pick. With the 27th pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Joshua Balliette, Cup Series driver for Tank Racing. Joshua joined the Cup Series just a couple weeks too late, and while he raced for Tank Racing, he didn't have any teammates in the Cup Series until three weeks ago. But even without help on the track, he managed to average a finish inside the top 20. I know we've been harping on this during the draft, but it's true. Consistency will be key, and consistency is something that Joshua Balliette has.
team Birdman has the next pick. Pick 28 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Birdman selects Bo Tiffany, Xfinity Series driver, Team SRN. Team Birdman is sticking to the Xfinity Series for the 28th pick, and they're finding a diamond in the rough with Bo Tiffany. In 14 races this season, Bo has improved his position from start to finish in all but three of them, and in those three combined, he dropped a total of six spots. This is a driver that figures out the track throughout the race and makes the necessary adjustments to move up through the field. At a track like Indianapolis, that's going to be key. Team Birdman has the next pick. Pick 29 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Birdman selects Jonathan Byer Racing Truck Series driver, Kyle Wimble. Captain Adam Pettit has found another steal in this draft. Kyle Wimble has driven in 12 Truck Series races this season. He has two top fives and six top tens. But don't expect him to start near the front of the race. He's a hard charger. His average starting position is 28th, but his average finish position is 13th. In fact, he has four races where he started outside the top 30 and still finished in 7th place. This is a great pick for the mid-rounds of the draft. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 30 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Brad Williams, Xfinity Series driver for Bronco Motorsports. With only one top five this season at Daytona, Brad Williams hasn't exactly been spectacular, but he certainly hasn't been bad either. If we can get him away from short tracks, he'll really shine. Well, Indianapolis is not a short track, so we may see something special out of Brad Williams next week. Don't sleep on him. Team Stimpa has the next pick. With pick 31 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Michael York, Truck Series driver for Bronco Motorsports. Even though Michael has only raced half the season with Speed Racing Network, he has shown some serious promise. In the seven Truck Series races that he started, he has four top 10 finishes, and none of those came when he started inside the top 10. He improves his position throughout the race by an average of three spots. There's not a lot of history to look at with York, but obviously Captain Jason Tripp sees something that he can work with. Team Silverback has the next pick. With the 32nd pick of the 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Aaron Gerwitz, Xfinity Series driver for Revved Racing. This is a great pick by Team Silverback for a couple of reasons. First, driving ability. Gerwitz has four top fives and six top tens in 14 races this season. He moves up an average of three positions throughout the race, and he's typically very consistent. But the second reason is a little more personal for Captain Sean Griffith. Gerwitz is the de facto leader of Rev Racing when Adam Pettit isn't around. Maybe this is Captain Griffith's way of getting into Captain Pettit's head. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 33 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Chris Massey, Cup Series driver for Bronco Motorsports. If you look at Chris Massey just for this season, you may question this pick, but that's why longevity in a series is so important. Massey has only had one top 10 all season long, but if you look at last season, he had eight top 10s in 18 races, including a ninth place finish at Indianapolis. Every captain sees things a little differently, but clearly Team Silverback is hoping to see last season's Chris Massey come back for the all-star race.
team Stimba has the next pick. Pick 34 of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft. Team Stimba selects Dave Fuge Jr. Cup Series driver. Dave is a good friend of David Duke, another one of Captain Tripp's draft picks. While he's only raced seven races with us this season, he has definitely shown consistency. His average starting position and average finish position are identical. That shows that he has patience. Dave also races in another series that are full-length races with no fast repairs, so he has the patience he'll need to run really well at a big track like Indianapolis. Team Buddha has the next pick. With the 35th pick of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Nathaniel Mann, Xfinity Series driver for Bronco Motorsports. If I asked you to list the 15 drivers in the Xfinity Series playoffs right now, you would likely forget that Nathaniel Mann is one of them. That's just how he drives. That's not a bad thing, though. He comes in, averages 18th during qualifying, and then quietly collects a top 15 finish. The thing that makes that style so great is that he rarely has a really bad race. He's only finished outside the top 20 three times all season long. He's a pretty safe pick for Team Buddha. Team Birdman has the next pick. Pick 36 of the Speed Racing Network 2021 All-Star Draft. Team Birdman selects H2K Motorsports Truck Series driver Cody Madden. Thank goodness Adam Pettit didn't pick Michael Madden also in the beginning of this draft because two Maddens on the same team would have spelled trouble for everyone else. But if the only thing you know about Cody Madden is that he's Michael Madden's brother, you aren't watching closely enough. He's only had 10 races with Speed Racing Network in the trucks, but half of those races, he's finished in the top 10. He doesn't have a win yet, but it's coming. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the 37th pick of the Speed Racing Network 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Emerson Ardon, Xfinity Series driver for Tank Racing. Every team needs to have that mid-pack presence. You know, that guy that will sometimes have a spark but is usually in the exact same spot every single race. It's important to have that comfort of having a teammate just like that. Emerson Ardon is that teammate. You'll usually find him in the 14th to 20th range, but four times this season, he's popped off a top 10 finish. He never ever disappoints, but sometimes he'll surprise you. That's a good teammate. Team Buddha has the next pick. With pick 38 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Brad Yonkman, Truck Series driver, for Team SRN. Brad Yonkman is a living, breathing wild card. There's no way to predict what kind of a finish you're going to get out of him. One week he'll qualify 25th, finish 31st, and have no incidents at all. Another week he'll qualify on the pole and finish 17th. And another week he'll qualify 41st and finish in the top 10. On average, he moves up three spots throughout the race, so that's saying something. But we'll have to see which side of the coin we get from him in Indianapolis. Team Stimba has the next pick. With the 39th selection of the 2021 SRN All Star Draft, Team Stimba. Selects Jack Johnson, Jonathan Byer Racing's Truck Series driver. 14 races and 7 top 10s with an average finish position that is 11 positions better than his average start position. Jack Johnson is the model of what Jonathan Byer Racing is all about in the Truck Series. Clean driving, consistent throughout the race, and always being in position for a good finish. That's all that's needed at the All-Star Race. You just need the chance at the end. Jack Johnson should have that chance.
Team Silverback has the next pick. With the 40th overall selection in the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Devin Zimmerman, Xfinity Series driver for Tank Racing. Devin Zimmerman was one of the final five drivers in the playoffs last season, and he got there without a win and without very many spectacular finishes. This season, again, no wins and only one top 10 all season long, but he's back in the playoffs again. Success doesn't always mean winning, and Devin Zimmerman is proving that. Indianapolis has four identical turns, so military precision is an advantage here. Lucky for Team Silverback, Zimmerman races for the Air Force racing team also. Team Silverback has the next pick. Selected 41st in the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Jonathan Byer, Truck Series driver for Jonathan Byer Racing. If Jack Johnson is the model of what Jonathan Byer Racing is, then we have to give credit to the man that created that model. Jonathan Byer ended last season with four out of six races in the top 10. And while he hasn't quite had as much success this season as he would like, a lot of it has come down to being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Of the three races where he had four incident points or fewer this season, he's finished in the top 10. So if he stays clean, he has a shot. Team Stimpa has the next pick. Selected 42nd in the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Vincent Cortez, Truck Series driver for Tank Racing. There was once a great explorer named Cortez who famously amped up his army by telling them to burn the boats before a battle. He said that if they were going to go home, they were going in the enemy's boats. Vincent Cortez's racing style is kind of the same way. He has a take-no-prisoner style that is just fun to watch, but it's a little bit of a risk-reward pick for Captain Jason Tripp here. Cortez has 10 starts inside the top 10, but only 4 finishes there, but a 40% chance is not bad odds with 40 drivers on the track. Team Buddha has the next pick. With the 43rd selection of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft, Team Buddha selects Derek De Silva, Xfinity Series driver for Tank Racing. One of Tank Racing's signatures is to get lined up all together on a big track and work their way to the front as a team. At racetracks where there's enough room and enough speed to do that, De Silva does fairly well. But if he ever gets separated from his team, trouble usually finds him. One of his weaknesses is qualifying. He's averaging a 30th place starting position this season, but when he qualifies 20th or better, he typically has a good race. We'll see if he can link up with some good people at Indianapolis. Team Birdman has the next pick. Selection 44 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman chooses Joshua Siegfried, Xfinity Series driver, Revved Racing. The mid-pack is a really difficult place to be, but that's where Joshua Siegfried has been stuck for most of the season. When he gets cleaner air or more room on the track, he's amazing. He's earned one top five and two top tens this season, so he has the talent. But when you're stuck in the middle of five or six other cars, incidents happen which drop you down the rankings. Luckily for him, there are some wide open spaces at Indianapolis. Let's see what he can do there. Team Birdman has the next pick. With the 45th selection of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft, Team Birdman selects Rev Racing Truck Series driver Cody Riggs. I will admit, I love watching people stream their races. I remember specifically watching Cody Riggs stream his Darlington race. He was white knuckling that truck around the track and when the dust settled, and there was some dust in that race, he finished 14th. 
When he said, I just finished 14th at Darlington, you could hear the excitement in his voice. This guy loves racing and it shows. He's definitely the type of attitude that I would want to build a team around. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 46 of the Speed Racing Network 2021 All-Star Draft. Team Buddha selects Jason Cracky, Truck Series driver for R&D Motorsports. Jason Cracky has one top five and two top tens on the season, but he keeps getting bit by that mid-pack bug. If you look back at the schedule this season, there are a lot of racetracks that just don't have a lot of room, which means there's more incidents, especially in the mid-pack. Maybe a big, huge rectangular track is exactly what this guy needs. Team Stimba has the next pick. Pick 47 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Stimba selects Greg Olenek, Xfinity Series driver for Revved Racing. Greg's only win this season actually came when he moved up to race in the Cup Series at Daytona. He edged Ted Wreckage by one one thousandth of a second. Though he didn't make the playoffs this season in the Xfinity Series, if he's not afraid to move up a level and steal a win from the Cup guys, there's nothing stopping him from stealing a win at the All-Star Race. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 48 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Sean Cozier, Truck Series driver for Revved Racing. If you look at Sean Kozier's stat line, it'll show 14 starts, no top fives, no top tens, with the best finish of 11th place. What it won't show is that Sean has finished in the top 15 7 out of 14 races. Sure, top tens would be better, but I'm just saying that he's been right there. The other draw to Sean Kozier is his consistency. His average start and average finish positions are identical. Team Silverback has the next pick. Selected 49th in the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft, Team Silverback selects Travis Trevelyan, Truck Series driver for Stryker Motorsports. This is a sentimental pick for Captain Sean Griffith. Travis Trevelyan drove for Sean last season as part of the team championship winning Stryker Motorsports team. After that season, Travis asked if he could carry on the team name since Griffith was stepping away from team ownership. He does have one top 10 finish to his credit this season, but he's been stuck in the mid-pack all season long. But as team owner, he's done a great job of building Stryker Motorsports once again. Team Stimpa has the next pick. Pick 50 of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft. Team Stimba selects Joseph DuPont, Cup Series driver, H2K Motorsports. Joseph DuPont is one of the original drivers of Speed Racing Network, though he's only run part-time this season. In Mid-South Madness Season 1, he and Daniel Bodler went shot for shot on road courses. Since then, DuPont has struggled to find his way, though occasionally you'll see sparks of brilliance like at Talladega when he was up with the lead pack for most of the race. If this was an endurance race, he would have been a top 10 pick, but as it sits, he has the opportunity to prove that he's been underestimated. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 51 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Buddha selects Mike Mosby, Truck Series driver for R&D Motorsports. I know it's becoming a common theme in this draft as well as in each of the three Speed Racing Network series. But when you start in the middle of the pack, it's tough to move up without getting involved in incidents. Outside looking in, a 15th place average starting position doesn't sound that bad at all. Neither does the top 10 finish at Chicagoland that he had earlier this season. But if you know Mike Mosby, you know that he wants to do more than that. Uh... 
team Birdman has the next pick. Pick 52 of the 2021 Speed Racing Network All-Star Draft. Team Birdman selects James Kerr, truck series driver for Jonathan Byer Racing. James Kerr is another driver in the Jonathan Byer Racing Stable. You know, the one that I've been saying all night is patient and just moves up consistently throughout the race. Well, James is another driver just like that. With an average start position of 25th and an average finish position of 18th, he's not going to turn a ton of heads, but every now and then he'll pull off a top 10 finish. He's had three of those this season, so you just never know. Team Birdman has the next pick. Pick 53 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Birdman selects Tevin Whitner, truck series driver for Team SRN. Tevin Whitner is putting in the work, and that will eventually pay off for him. It just hasn't quite done that yet in the truck series. But I'm telling you, he's been on iRacing for under a year, and now he's racing five or six officials per day. Don't be surprised if he moves up the leaderboard next season. But as for the All-Star race, since most everyone is on a level playing field, he may have a better shot than normal this week. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 54 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Buddha selects Truck Series driver John Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday has had some trouble on the track this season, not all of his own doing. And I have to tell you, I've seen his stats in the cup car, and they are much better than he is in the trucks. So this may just be a case where he's in a vehicle that he's just not comfortable in. Unfortunately, the all-star race is being run in a vehicle that most people aren't comfortable in. We'll just have to see what happens. Team Stimpa has the next pick. The 55th pick of the SRN 2021 All-Star Draft, Team Stimba selects Evan Scott, Truck Series driver, Filthy 5 Motorsports. Out of nine races this season, Evan Scott has only really had two bad ones. If you take out those races, Evan has an average starting position of 18th and an average finishing position of 14th with two top 10 finishes. That's really not a bad deal, especially with the 55th pick in the draft. Jason Tripp is really getting some value here. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 56 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Robert Yost, Truck Series driver, Team SRN. Why the heck is a playoff driver going off the board at number 56? And not just a playoff driver, but a driver with two top 10s and an average improvement of 15 spots per race. Not just that, but a driver that has started outside the top 20 13 times, but finished in the top 20 11 times. I don't understand it, but Team Silverback just won this round. Team Silverback has the next pick. Pick 57 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Silverback selects Kevin Winker, Xfinity Series driver for R&D Motorsports. Kevin Winker was a part-time driver in the Xfinity Series this season, only running eight races with us there, but he has one top ten. This is another driver in our series that always starts in the bottom half of the field, but finishes more often than not in the top half. Not to mention that he averages less than eight incident points per race. A clean car always has a chance. Team Stimpa has the next pick. Pick 58 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Stimba selects Dr. Walt Lepicki, truck series driver for Tank Racing. Like we said earlier in the draft, 
The Lepicki name means something in Speed Racing Network, but to compare the senior Lepicki to his son Mike would be unfair. Walt is pretty new to iRacing and is still finding his way, but we've seen some good improvement over the past few weeks, especially with his starting position. Walt is getting faster. Don't look past him in the future. Team Buddha has the next pick. Pick 59 of the 2021 SRN All-Star Draft. Team Buddha selects tank racing truck series driver Jeremy Duncan. Jeremy Duncan has had some struggles this season in the trucks. He has an average start of 23rd and an average finish of 29th. But there was one race in particular where he was clean, consistent, and fast, and that was at the two-mile track at Auto Club. He started 18th and finished 11th there. So he might like these big tracks like Indianapolis. Don't sleep on this guy. All right, everybody, and there you have it, all 59 draft picks, and I know out there in the Discord channel right now that uh, that they are kind of separating people into their respective teams in the chats and that sort of thing, so uh, we appreciate them doing that while we were uh, getting that draft going. So uh, once again, just keep in mind that if you were picked on Team Birdman, which is Adam Pettit, or Team Buddha, which is Danny Setzer, your race is Saturday, May 8th at 4 p.m. Uh, we are setting up a separate league. We will be inviting just those teams uh, to the league. So that way you can get that. Also keep in mind that your number in that race is going to be the number of your pick. So that is how we're going to number people out. So, uh, so if you were pick number one, like Jake Rowell, which he's not in, in that race, but, uh, if, if you were pick number one, then, then you, you're, you would be number one, et cetera, uh, that sort of thing. I will say just as a, uh, a little bit of a, of an additional shot at Jason Tripp, uh, that the, uh, the four captains will be numbers 91, 92, 93, 94, 91 is usually Jason Tripp's number, but because I was the first pick, I stole that away from him. And so, uh, hopefully he, he enjoys that little dig a little bit. So, uh, now race two, the qualifier there is team silverback, my team, uh, and team Stimba, which is Jason Tripp's team. Uh, and then, uh, that, that will be at eight o'clock PM central standard time on May the 8th as well. So keep in mind that the top 20 of each race gets into the actual all-star race as well as the two highest finishing team captains. And that race will be Sunday, May the 9th at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, again, the qualifying races will not be broadcast this time around uh, because all the broadcasters and, and staff are going to be out there on the track. But uh, the all-star race itself will be broadcast here on Speed Racing Network. So Basically, that's everything, guys. I mean, this is going to be a really, really fun race. I am super pumped up about this. I'm really excited to get back behind the wheel and uh, and see if I can if I can still do it out there. Or actually, can't say still do it because I never really did it. So anyway, but uh, everybody, please have a really, really great night. I know uh, Byron McDonald has set up a race right after uh, this this broadcast that uh, everybody can jump into and, and have a little bit of a demolition derby at uh, Bristol Dirt in the ARCA cars. Uh, so unlimited fast repairs, no cautions, 75 laps, uh, and the winner gets a free entry into their next SRN race courtesy of Byron McDonald Racing. So uh, definitely check that out if you're interested there. But otherwise, we will see everybody Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday for the qualifying races, Sunday for the actual all-star race. Good luck, everybody. And once again, always remember to go faster.